vlogmas day five starting off in the bathroom today this toothbrush is still one of the best gifts i've ever gotten the phillips little electric toothbrush i haven't charged it since i got it last christmas so i just changed my skincare routine if you follow me on tiktok you know what it is my skin while i was pregnant was like probably the best it's ever been and then the second i had the babe uh, all hell broke loose and my skin was back to shit and my skincare products I had been using just weren't working anymore But I bought the inky list stuff and this stuff has been really really nice I don't think my skin has ever been this soft before and it's just super user-friendly So if you are like thinking about getting the inky list I get it and it's a good price one of my favorite things to make is boiled eggs for breakfast and I make a couple and then save them because most days he's like this so I can't really have a fried egg because it splash back and it's like super dangerous. So a boiled egg is easy and convenient and then I can save a couple and have them like every day of the week for breakfast or lunch. A lot of snow fell last night. This is my car in the morning. This is Kyrie's closet. So cute. I really need to reorganize it because there's some things in here that don't even fit him anymore. But I'm gonna put his clothes away. Camera died, I had to charge it a little bit. Do you think you're okay to lay down for a second? I just wanna dump my milk in a bottle. I fed him and I used my Hakka, which I love the Ladybug Milk Collector one. And I got half an ounce from that, which is great because it's you'd basically waste that milk if you're not using it. And then I used my pump. I got maybe an ounce after I fed him on the opposite side. And on that side, yeah, I got about an ounce. Nice. I'm just gonna put that in the fridge. I also got um, mail. I don't know if I'm even gonna be able to show them in the video because I'm pretty sure they're gifts for people. I think one of them is his bottle and the other one might be a gift for Rakeen. I just bought these, they were on sale during um, Cyber Monday. And they're the nine ounces for when he's taking more than four ounces at a time, which I think he already might be. Yeah, it is Rakeem's gift. I'm not going to show it. Since he's content, I thought I'd take this time to talk about a few things we are getting him for Christmas. If you're looking for ideas for a baby around the same age. Hi. Um, Kyrie is going to be four months, the 11th, on Vlogmas Day 11. And um, I found it pretty hard to be like, what do I get him? Because I find we're just always buying things. Like when I need something, we buy it, right? Also, we were given a lot. We were very, very fortunate. Like I think we bought him maybe four toys because everything is just given to you. We got a lot of clothes at the baby shower and my mom just randomly buys things. We just randomly buy things. Like my family just randomly gives us things. Um, and stuff like that. So we haven't really had to buy him much. We do when we like see something cute. Like we look at it every time we go to a store, we might probably get something every time. But what I really focused on this year for Christmas, because he doesn't care. Like I'm wrapping up like, do I have to? Like I'm the one opening it, right? You can see, I'm sure you've seen it in the videos. We have the jelly jumper there. That was something my mom was gonna buy him but my aunt had one so we got it for free so he uses that and so my mom got him a high chair my grandmother um got him it's kind of like a bumbo seat but it's not it's better for them because bumbo seats apparently are really bad for baby spine so we got him an up seat i'll put a picture of it here um and the one with the tray so that like if we go somewhere we could take it and he could like sit on top of the table right he's getting an extra saucer at our house and lots of books. I'm a reader, so every time I find cute books, I buy them for him. That's what I was wrapping yesterday. And then I got him the little people just because they were cute. And it's like it's like toys he'll have for a long time, right? Um, but something else I did was he's currently in like a baby bath, but soon enough he's gonna be too big for it. So I thought perfect opportunity to get him things for the bath. This is his favorite toy actually. Um, it is a crib mobile, and you just connect it to the bed, or you can disconnect it and take it everywhere. So if you're debating getting a crib mobile, maybe get one. And this one's perfect because we can take it anywhere and attach it to anything. But I also highly recommend getting practical practical things that you're gonna use that like 
you might not already have like me with my nine ounce bottles or if you need more soothers or like around four to six months they start eating solids we'll get prepared for that maybe buy plates buy bibs um but i got for free thanks mercy the um baby ninja bullet thing buy something like that buy things to make your own baby food pre-buy some baby food that you want to get like baby oatmeal um and have that stuff ready it's really all about being practical and like we didn't buy clothes for him because i know he's gonna get clothes for christmas and we buy him clothes whenever he needs them like we just do that right um, so we didn't really buy any like anytime we buy new clothes We just give it to him because it's really for you that first Christmas Like what do you need for him and you're gonna use Christmas as an excuse to buy it? Um, and that's the way I've seen it at least especially this young like if he was a little older I would have gotten him like more toys But also like he's very interested in Elmo and like rattles and things right now So if you don't already have some pay attention to what your child's interested in and maybe buy more of those but some of my favorite toys my favorite toy brand is actually baby einstein and i just love it because first of all it goes in spanish french and english so trilingual it's amazing and also um there are a lot of like musical educational things so it's like you'll have i have a drum set actually i got it from my aunt and in the drum set you can hit it and it'll play the music but then you can also hit it and it'll say the color and it's like they're very educational toys and i love that and also if you're asking for things for your baby ask for diapers ask for wipes ask for practical things like that because they're expensive and if you're not nursing and you're a formula fed like if your baby's formula fed ask for formula because Holy mo- I can't get over the price. Oh my gosh, I just thought of another thing, so I'm setting you right back up. Get sleep sacks the size up. Like right now, we have two for Kyrie until 18 pounds. You can even get more than that because you never know when something might happen, a little spit up or you put the diaper on wrong throughout the night. That's happened to me multiple times. Sleep sacks are expensive, so you could always buy them for the baby and use Christmas as a reason or get somebody else to buy it for the baby.